Okay, so we have here the, this is the iPhone 5, right? Mm-hmm. Do you know the specs or not? No. Okay, well, we have the iPhone 5 here, and we have the iPad uh, mini, and this is going to be a benchmarking test. Okay, let's go ahead and start. I'm sure the, the iPhone is at least dual core. Well, they're loading around the very same time. Although they're throwing out different numbers, but I don't know how to read those numbers. But they're loading around. Only that this has a bigger screen. Right. It's already on memory. So it's got to that faster. I have the feeling that the CPU on the iPhone is faster than the tablet. You know the resolution on the of the screen of the iPhone uh, five. No. So see the phone. Oh no, okay, they're still working. Okay. What's the chip of the the tablet? The what? The chip. A5. And, the phone? and I think the iPhone 6, uh, the iPhone 5 has the A6. Okay, so let's look at the results. Alright, so let's start from the CPU. So... I don't know what some of these things what they mean, but first uh, number on the tablet is uh, 345, on the phone is 611. Um, second number is 285, on the phone is 818. Let's look here at data compression 1.45 megabytes on the tablet. Data compression on the phone is 2.27, so the phone is showing better numbers. Disk, uh, storage write 64.9 on the tablet, 39.0 on the phone, so the tablet uh, is better. Storage read 83.1 versus 155. So the phone is better with that. The memory, 382 megabytes per second on the tablet versus 497 megabytes per second on the phone. So the phone is better there. Uh, the memory read, the phone is better too. 2D graphics, uh, solid vectors, 927 on the tablet. 2694 on the phone, way better on the phone, it's almost oh, more than twice better. Uh, transparent vectors, 853 on the tablet, 2389 on the phone. Uh, and let's look at the 3D. Uh, on the tablet, it's uh, 59.8, on the phone, it's 59.9. And the complex test, 21.9, the phone is 45.5. So I think overall, the phone has a better results.
than the tablet, don't you think? Yeah. All right, that was our quick uh, uh, benchmarking test comparing the iPhone 5 versus a mini iPad. Thanks for watching.